The flower stand on Fun with Flowers and Jay is provided by Golden Flowers. Today, Fun with Flowers and Jay is brought to you by Floral Elixirs. Welcome to the world of flowers. I'm Jay Schwanke. I've spent my entire life surrounded by flowers. As a fourth generation florist, flowers have been a part of my daily life for as long as I can remember. Now I'm on a mission to share my knowledge and love of flowers with everyone I meet. Growing, picking, arranging, designing, and sharing. It's all fascinating to me because I love flowers. Anything flowers and everything flowers. Welcome to Fun with Flowers and Jay. Today on Fun with Flowers and Jay, it's flower cocktail hour. And my friend Nora Egger with her floral elixir is here to show us how to have some flower cocktails. I'm here with my friend Nora, who is the creator of floral elixirs. These are amazing because they add a whole new dimension to our flower cocktail hour. Tell me how you started. Seven years ago, I returned from having lived in Europe, um, and I grew up in a total of about four different countries. Okay. So having traveled to many more and having spent almost 25 years in Europe, I really enjoyed the food culture and the drink culture of all the different countries that I saw and that I had the chance to live in or travel. And part of that really was using different types of flowers and herbs that we traditionally don't use, don't see here in the U.S. So I thought, well, why don't we try something at home to create a strong essence of using real floral flavors to create really enticing drinks, something that nobody had seen before. So trying out different recipes, I started with the Damascan rose that was grown in the Valley of Fields, Valley of the Roses in Bulgaria. And from that first one, the rose elixir, as I called it, because it wasn't a syrup, it wasn't a tincture, it was a non-alcoholic concentrate. And hence I called it an elixir. And from the rose, I started making a whole collection to have 13 to date. So what are we gonna make today? We're gonna have a couple of different drinks, I think. Um, and I think the best way to start anything is with a nice aperitif, um, something with a glass of bubbles. We can do that. So take any bottle of a champagne or mm -hmm. sparkling wine, as long as it's a brut. If you use anything that's dry, you can add different types of flavors to it and you won't overwhelm it with sweetness. Okay. So, so essentially, the using floral elixirs in champagne is quite easy. It's a, I always call it the floral twist, right, on a Cure Royale. So all we're gonna do here, we've got a Champagne Lovers uh, floral cocktail kit. And one of these flavors, which I really enjoy, is Rose Hippie Elixir. This is one of my favorites. When I saw this, I loved it. You know, I, rose hips in general are absolutely wonderful. We buy organic rose hips. We cook them down for quite a long time to, to actually get a really strong extract of rosehip. They're very healthy for you, full of vitamin C and different antioxidants. And essentially all we're gonna do is pour a little bit in here. You see it's all it takes and look at the color on that cocktail. Oh, it's beautiful. So this is wonderful for before dinner drinks, of course, um, for champagne toasts, for weddings, for different type of celebrations. I mean, let's not forget New Year's. So I really enjoy this flavor. So a tablespoon? A tablespoon is all you use. I actually use a little bit less in both of these glasses. This is about five ounce glass of champagne. Mm -hmm. And so cheers. Here to our rose hip Rose curio. hips and to floral <laughs> elixir. Oh, that's wonderful. It's, you know what I like about this, especially as a before dinner drink, is that as you can see, most of the elixir is actually layered at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So as we're drinking, you're gonna get more and more of the flavor of whatever floral elixir that you add to your champagnes, and it opens the palate really nicely. So you have different, almost different flavors within one cocktail. Oh, that's amazing. And visually, I think, you know, throw in a berry or two. Right. Throw in a sprig of whatever flower you see, and there's the cocktail. Perfect, so now let's move on okay. to something with a little bit Harder liquor in it. A little harder liquor. All well, right. let's start with the easy one. Okay. Everyone knows and loves vodka, right? right. I mean, it's an easy spirit. So okay. essentially, whatever flavor you're going to add to, to vodka is what you're going to have. What I really enjoy, which is also available in the Champagne Lovers, but the Vodka Lovers collection, is violet. Now, violets wow. are a wonderful sweet, can sweet flower mm -hmm. that make a really lovely elixir, which with vodka make a beautiful cocktail visually and has a really smooth creaminess to it, actually. So here we added about four ounces. 
correct? Of, of a vodka. We're going to add about one ounce of the violet elixir. And add, there we go. So that's one to four. So two ounces of vodka would be about half ounce of a uh, violet elixir. If you look at it per serving. We're just gonna add a squeeze of about half a lemon. Give a nice little freshness. And then that's it. What's easy about this is that anyone can be a mixologist at home with the floral elixirs. You've got great flavors. You've got wonderful, very light, natural colors. Mm -hmm. And very easy cocktails. It's beautiful, Nora. That's the other thing. Thank you. You know, the color actually comes from a black carrot extract. Because oh, wow. floral extracts, they actually don't have any colors. Wonderful. Cheers. Oh, it is. It's creamy. There's a smoothness to it, which I really enjoy. The thing that I have told everyone is that it's so reminiscent of the fragrance of the flowers. And that's what makes it so interesting and complex. So, Nora, when we met, you were testing these. And I thought that was such an interesting process. Can you share that with us? Absolutely. You know, it's true. People are not used to drinking flowers. And so when they approach me, they're like, well, what is this? Because it's not a syrup. It's not a tincture. It's not alcohol. It is something unique. So what I like to do is I like to show people, first of all, what it smells like. So I always offer them a very small amount and a little glass. In this case, this is cherry blossom elixir. And cherry blossom, sakura extract actually, has an incredibly rich and smooth flavor. And I blend it with an organic um, cherry extract. And together, combined, I think it's quite, qu quite beautiful. Put your nose to it. Mm -hmm. And you, you really feel the aroma of it. Right. And then I always tell people, you know, put your lips to it. So take a tiny, tiny sip almost. Oh, and this is wonderful. <laughs> See, it's this that combination of a touch of pure cane sugar, a little bit of citrus, the, the organic cherry extract, and of course that Japanese, that beautiful sakura extract. You added soda? Absolutely. Okay. Soda or sparkling wines, right? So but I think to try it first. Is that enough? That's fine, absolutely. If people drink it in a soda, you know, it's much more diluted. Right. But I think to really understand the essence and to get the flavors, cheers to an all natural, healthy, low calorie soda. Right. That's amazing. That's amazing. I just think of how fun that would be for a party or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, for kids too, for the right. mocktails at holidays, that's a great idea. Bridal showers, for example. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. Uh, baby showers. Perfect. When people don't want to drink. Exactly. Perhaps, very much. So now, what about bourbon, gin, those types of things? You know, with 13 different flavors of elixirs, there's definitely certain flavors that work better with certain spirits. Mm -hmm. So gin, there's a gin lover's collection for gin, that, uh, that flavors that I feel work much better with it. Bourbon, also there's a bourbon lover's collection, bourbon whiskeys, brandy, and rose elixir works beautifully with bourbons. So essentially a lot of bourbon drinkers prefer to drink it neat or right. on the rocks. Okay. You know, they really enjoy the experience of, of a bourbon. So here, all I'm gonna do is just add, add a little bit of bourbon, and then throw some rocks in there if you like, or just keep it neat. But I'll maybe, keep it neat, let's okay. keep it neat. I actually would use maybe a teaspoon. And that's it, just a slight accent. You can see the color on the bottom very delicately, right. but there's definitely something there. And so you're gonna get the full complexity of your bourbon, but you're gonna have a very slight aftertaste, which has a lovely rose, almost like a sweet honey taste that combined with the bourbon is just delicious. But I'll let you see for yourself. Okay. There. Oh. You know, and I'm a bourbon drinker, and I would never think about adding my roses to my bourbon, except now, of course I will. You can always make Manhattans with this, mm -hmm. and then you can add different things to it, of course. I have to then talk about gin and lavender, because lavender, I think, oh, it's so hot, you know, just like my favorite flowers, if, depending upon the day that you ask me, I will tell you my favorite flower is something different. So, but I do love the lavender one, and you said that that was a great way to do that. So gin, the juniper and gin, of course, is something that the lavender, they're, they're closely related. So pairing these is actually something that's quite natural. Um, and, you know, we're going to keep it easy. Essentially, highball glass, throw some rocks in there. Add about, you know, two to three ounces of gin per glass. Let's keep it small. There we go. Add your half ounce of your lavender elixir, which is one tablespoon serving. 
And lavender, you know, is an English lavender, which is very fragrant, which is grown and harvested in the fields in France. And we add an organic blueberry undertone to it just to give it complexity. And also because lavender is quite harsh. On its own, it is, it is an astringent. So maybe a splash of lemon. And there is. You can either mix this, of course, in a shaker or drink it neat because, or, or drink it without shaking it because the colors, you know, they settle so nicely. Ah, okay. So, now, and I think the visual of that is And nice. I would do soda. Oh, absolutely. You could top these with soda to keep it more light. As a summer drink? Mm hmm I would even throw in maybe a rosemary sprig or a lavender sprig. Right. And there's our summer cocktail. That's wonderful. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's delightful. There's a nice bouquet afterwards as well from the, from the gin and from the lavender. What's our best way to get a hold of Floral Elixirs? Well, it is, we are a small company and um, we do work with several retailers across the country, but they're smaller retailers. So the, the easiest way to find them, honestly, for anybody, is to go to floralelixir.com or floralcocktails.com. We have on Ubloom a link. There. Yes, you do. So if you go to our store, it takes you right to your website. Right. And you can get to you there. So, and they can do the, they can do the kits. They yeah, can kits do the are available. These small bottles are available in these floral cocktail kits. And I think there's eight different or nine different varieties from soda lovers to tea lovers, champagne, wine lovers even. Um, and of course, we have the larger bottles as well that are come in eight and a half ounce size, which Absolutely. are 17 servings each. Well, perfect. So, well, thank you so much for coming thank today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I love having flower cocktail hour. So until next time, Nora, cheers. Cheers. It's been we'll fun. We'll keep having fun with flowers. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs>